All right, so I'm taking a quick break away from really upsetting everybody with a uh, Prusa 3D printer to just do a quick demonstration of how to install DaVinci Resolve on one of the newer versions of Fedora. So I'm running Fedora 41, but this is also pretty much the same on at least Fedora 40, if not some earlier versions. One thing I want to be careful about before we get into this is just to make sure everybody knows I didn't come up with these fixes. These have been out there for a while. People have known about this, and so I got them from, of course, the internet. They're running around on all the DaVinci Resolve forums or Fedora threads and stuff like that. You're going to see this stuff out there. So again, I'm not taking credit for coming up with the solution. I just figured I'd show you what it looks like if you want to mostly use some GUI for different stuff. You don't have to do everything from the command line. So the first step, obviously, is to have the DaVinci Resolve installer for Linux downloaded onto your computer. And it comes with some instructions here, which are not super helpful because in the instructions, basically all it says is, okay, you download the file, unzip it, and then double click the installer package. But here's the issue whenever you do that. You double click on this and you say execute and it says, please install the following missing packages. This is the issue is that if you start looking into this, you actually don't need to install Zlib. What this is, is that DaVinci Resolved is developed with some older libraries and the newer versions of those libraries aren't, I guess, named the same or something like that. And so we have to do something else because the real problem is we actually have Zlib. It just doesn't know it. So we're going to do something else. Okay, so we're going to fix this by running the installer from the terminal with an option. And the option is just going to tell the installer not to check for that library. Zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to type in sudo because we got to run this as an administrator. And we're going to tell it skip underscore package underscore check equals one. Then you're going to do a dot forward slash and then you're going to type in the installer files name. And so the dot forward slash is just pointing it to the current directory that we're already in. All right, so now we need to type in the name of the installer file. And the way that you can do this kind of easily is you can come in here and look at the file properties, and then you can come in here and cut with a control C. And then in the terminal, you can't just control V. You have to control plus shift and then V. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a dash I, and that just brings in some environmental stuff uh, with the sudo command that you don't have to worry about. But now we're just gonna hit enter enter our password, it says, all right, do you want to install this? Yep, there's your terms and conditions, hit Y. And the installer is finished. So we're done with the install, but now if we try to run this thing by coming up and double clicking on the icon, because again, everything is installed, we'll run into another problem that DaVinci Resolve will not actually open. And I've got the journal log here, and if you zoom in, says, okay, we had a symbol lookup error for this library. And this is another issue with, again, the way Blackmagic uses an older version of Linux and older versions of libraries in their development. We don't actually have a library problem. DaVinci Resolve thinks we have a library problem. So here's the way we fix this part. So you come back into your file browser. Now you wanna to go to the root of your drive. You're gonna go into opt. This is where DaVinci Resolve installs. We're going to go into the Resolve folder, and once you're in the Resolve folder, we're going to go into the, the libs folder, but you want to do that as an administrator. So you go open as administrator, because we need to edit some files in here, and it's locked down for the user, so we do our sudo password. Now we're in the libs folder here. All right, so we're going to right-click, create new folder, and we're just going to call this um, something like, you know, libs backup or something. Okay, so we're just creating a folder that's empty, and then we're going to move some old libraries into it. All right, so there are a set of files that we need to move. So the files we're looking for right here, what you're looking for is anything that starts with libgio, so that's these three, anything that starts with libglib, so this one, this one, and this one, and anything that starts with libg modules. That's this one, this one, and this one. Now, I'm just gonna control X to cut, and then I come back up in here, and this is just to save them in case we ever do need these, so I'm pasting them here, 
and now they are no longer in this folder. Now you're like, how does that fix anything? Well, what that changes is whenever DaVinci Resolve starts, it's going to look for these libraries. It won't find them. And then it will ask the system basically for the libraries and the system will give it the current libraries. That way everything will work. So now whenever I click on DaVinci Resolve, it of course opens on another screen, but here you go. Now it all opens fine. So that's what you've got to do to get this thing installed. It's a bit of a workaround and this will all be resolved eventually whenever Blackmagic starts developing with newer libraries. It's just kind of a current issue where they're using some old stuff and new versions of Fedora use newer stuff and that's just kind of how it is. But that's all there is to it. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks.